Welcome to my house. I'm Frumpy Buckle, and you're fishing my Uncle Buck. Today's episode, we're headed to North Carolina, probably one of my favorite places to fish in this game so far for what I've been able to fish. Um, if you've ever had one of those days or early Sunday morning, you, you just want to take an iron and go fishing. This is the place to go. It, to me, it, it, there's no stress. The, the morning doves in the, in the morning, the sounds of the crickets in the early evenings, it's just, it, it, it relaxes me. So I'm gonna have a hard time paying attention to the missions as I did over there before. I like to go here. And today we're gonna do it different than we had in all the other videos where I just, we go out there and we just attack a hole and here's where we're at. Today we're gonna, I'm gonna take one pole we're gonna walk around the river. I'm gonna show you all the hot spots in this river and what fish can come out of them. And as we do that, we'll complete the missions. And uh, we'll go from there, but <clears throat> I'll show you every hot spot that I know of and what fish you can get out of there. And you can fish anywhere on here, anywhere you want, depending on what you're after. And it's just, I go there to relax, and it's one of my favorite places to go. So, let's take a look at what we've got here. Um, let's move on over. The missions that we're going to be doing. The Naram Exploration 1. The Heron, North Carolina River. We're going to need the Golden China. We're going after that critter. The Bluegill, the Black Crappie, the White Crappie, the Red Ear Sunfish, and the Pumpkin Sea. All these guys, like I said, this is a relaxing, this is going to be a relaxing day for all of us. We're just going to chill, walk around the river, and catch all these fish, just flipping. I'm going to take one stick with some blood worms on it. Bang. All of them. Second, the Heron Exploration 2. We're going after the common carp, which we'll probably catch in the mornings here while we're flipping. Now the flathead catfish. There are big ones in this river, and, and you can make some money. And we're gonna catch a few. We're gonna. Uh, we're, I brought some heavier poles because, again, we're we're in fishing planet. We're paying to go over there. We're completing missions. These fish aren't gonna pay a lot of money, and so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fish. We're gonna have to stay past the missions in order to make money, so we don't go broke. So we, have, we always that has to stay top of mind, no matter how much relaxation you got going on over there which we will we still got to make money and that's our money flathead catfish over there and the bass this place is loaded with bass and they pay good money now the long nose they're all right to fish for them. We'll, we'll grab a couple of those now our third mission over there is in the heron trial this is where we're going to hit the pickerel these are the tough fish over there except for the bass they're everywhere but the redfin pickerel and the American shad, which is strange. That shad, I catch him on shrimp in this river, on shrimp. Everything else we'll catch from blood worms, except for the catfish. When we go after them, we're going to go after them with some heavy bait, some thicker bait. And then they're going to be the Naharan Unique. Now this one, they actually show you where to go, what to do to catch this uni. So as we're walking around the river, I'll show you where that spot is. And when you get to that point there, they'll probably, you will know, take you right over to that. But we'll go over there and catch a red ear. Hopefully we can get a uni. I don't know. I was over there not too long ago. I caught a couple of red ear, but I didn't grab a uni. All right, so let's go look at our sticks. Here's what we are taking. First stick. Now these poles get beat up because, you know, it's, and, and this is a level 10 waterway, and these are level, like this stick here is a level 16 pole, right here. So we're gonna take the all around with our spare ML 2500. We're gonna take, now this is a level five pole. This is my, this is one we've been fishing everything with. And he does damn good here. This is the stick we're just going to carry with us around. I'm going to take, this is the one I'll be carrying when we walk around. I'll show you all the holes. And of course, we've got the sport, another all around, a little heavier. He's 18 pound versus the 11 pound for there. 
and for number five, I'm bringing him. Now this is a heavier stick. Um, this here's a level 29 pole, but I'm staying. I'm making money, and these catfish are big. They're they're big. So if you are up there in a level higher than the 10 or 11 or 12 or 13, you know, uh, for this lake, take take a big take a big match rod over there with these. If this is your first time over there, because you'll need it, it'll come in very handy. And then of course we're going to take our bass. Now this is a <clears throat> this is another level six pole that we've been fishing with. This pole is. <laughs> It has a slow recovery on it, which is, that's the bad thing about, you know, these lower level casting rods is the recovery on this is only 23 and a half inches per crank. But we'll have fun with it. We'll get those bass that we need. All right. With that being said, let's go get us a license. Did I talk about everything I needed to? Yes. Sweet bad. We talked about our web. Oh, we need to talk about the bait that we are taking. Come on, Buck. There we go. All right, let's get something out here with bait on. So, the bait that we're gonna be taking with us today, we're gonna to be taking some large minnows. We're gonna be taking some shrimp, small cut, small minnows. Now for these panfish, we always we always wanna take our dough balls and marshmallows if you got them. Keep them in your backpack all the time and sell them in the balls. Uh, just for backups there, but we're, we'll be, we should be able to catch everything, all the panfish on the budworms for today. And you know what I forgot? Because we are going to stay after, after school, and we're going to catch some catfish. We need some medium cut bait, and we need some large cut bait. So, let me run over there and get that real quick before we go anywhere. All right, back from the grocery store. We got our large cut bait. We got some large minnows. Picked up some of them. They were cheap on the, in the owl on the way out. Uh, we got ourselves some medium cut bait there. I even picked up five more shiners. What the hell? Okay, so I think we're loaded up now. Small. Now, these large cut bait, I know if you guys aren't up in the levels, you won't be able to get any of this. It's like, a damn buck. We can't have that. Not a problem. It's just the small cut bait will work. For you guys so you just buy more small cup bait you can get that at level five or six so that's that's what you want to take you want to get load up on that small cup bait shiners you can get them load up on them okay all right well i think we talked about everything there we got what we need make sure that you get yourself a license and I will see you over in North Carolina. Okay, here we are. I love this place. It's so peaceful. All right, here's a good shot of everything. We are gonna start over here at the great parking job. And we're just gonna, we're gonna walk all the way around to like, River, sorry. Down to here, hit a couple of spots over here. There's, right now, there's a. It doesn't show, but there's logs, two fallen trees across here that gives you a bridge, so you can actually walk there across the logs and then back up around all here. And we're going to hit all of our panfish over in this area right here. I'll show you where the red pickerel is, and all through here is just loaded with bass. It's just loaded with bass. The catfish, this is your deep hole. The big catfish are run, running right through here. And the gars down in here. Alrighty, let's jump in there. Let's get ourselves a nice stroll around this river and have some fun. Here we are. And they can see why they call it the Great Parking Job. Somebody had one too many beers, I think. All right, well, we don't want to start with this casting rod yet because we're after the panfish. So I think, if I remember correctly, the one we want right in here. Now, here's where we'll start. Take a look at the lily pads that we got here. Remember what we've always said. We've got those 
I set a lily pads over in here. Oh, what I wanted to talk about before we jumped in there was we, <clears throat> we don't really, we have a couple of new fish. If you guys have been following along from the beginning, the American Shad that we're going to, that's one of the critters that we're chasing. Now we've caught black crappie in New York, we've caught our bluegill all the way up through at every lake. I believe we had uh, maybe carp. Maybe carp is a new guy for us. I think it is. Nope. Nope. We caught all of our carp over in Czechoslovakia. So, and our catfish we had down in uh, Missouri, the boat uh, channel catch. There's the flathead now this time. The golden shiner. Large mouth bass. Now there's the long nose gar. That's new to us. This will be a new one. We got the pumpkin seed, of course. We Right here, some fish. This is the uni that we'll be chasing. And of course, redfin pickerel. We caught a lot of them in New York. Smallmouth bass and the white crappies. All right, so let's go back there again. Sorry about that. <clears throat> now here, we got number eight hooks on. I need to adjust here because we were, my poles were set up for the end of yesterday and I was out there catching them catfish. So we want to be somewhere around 19 to 23 inches, somewhere between 50 and 60 centimeters. Now right out through here is where the pickerel live. That's where we're gonna we're gonna catch that red pickerel when it comes time to catch him. And you've got bass all throughout here everywhere and of course you have your panfish and we'll start off at these lily pads here because the panfish are always you're always going to find them around the lily pads of course, your predators like these pickerel and the pike family—they're they're, going to be—they're going to be hovering right around there to eat them guys up when they get too far away from the cover. There have been times I have come home from work and have one of these calm moments. I needed an hour. Come down here, decide to fish. Come down an hour and a half. Wake me up. Up. Sleeping in the chair. That did its job. Did what it was supposed to do. Woke up a new man. Nobody wants to bite our line, huh? That's because we're not flipping. That's the problem. Yep. Did anybody think to look at the peaks? Somebody 
should have reminded me. Buck, that's your job, Buck. I decided to bring some of my refreshment juice with us on this trip. All right, like I said, we're going to walk around. We're going to hit all these holes. This is a hole. You'll catch panfish there. You'll catch... A lot of bass right out in here. We're not looking for them with our blood worms, so you never know. Nothing there. We're moving on. Another favorite spot over here. He can sneak right by. And there's our red air sunfish right off the list. And we could mark him done. He's pretty. Back up a little bit. Uh oh. Come on. Oops. Happy. Thank you very much, sir. Another pretty fish. All right, buddy. All right, all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. Fat boy, red ear subfish. We like him. <clears throat> so you got, we just pulled out a couple right there. Now you can walk out on here. You can get out here pretty far. I don't think we can get all the way over there. We're kind of in the middle there, 20 inches. Is that you jumped too quick on him, Buck? Yeah, 
There we go. Another red air. They're just coming a dime a dozen right there. So, you know where to catch them. Next spot. Just right around the corner. Now here. This spot here we should get. Um, where's my, yeah, we'll go over here. I think it's something here. Now here, we should find a golden shiners in here. Right on this side of the lily pad. So we'll see. We'll see what we drag up here real quick. There's our pumpkin seed. Grab them out of there. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's walk over here a little bit. Got some movement over there. Here on this side. Usually pick up a few over here. Side lines. Don't be too long. No, that's where. Oh, and there's our bluegill. Trophy bluegill. Look at that fat critter. Huh. Very nice. Buck, very nice. Okay, so we got Kim off the list. What do we still need? We still need that golden shiner. I know he lives over there. Let's get him. Uh, he's probably in the next hole, actually. Well, we'll see what we yank out of here. We'll give her one more shot in here. Then we'll move to the next one. Ooh, somebody's dinging. There we go. And just on cue, the golden shiner. Don't worry, buddy. I'll send you the check in the mail. All right. We need a pumpkin seed and a white crappy. Let's keep him. And let's move over. Oh, oh, out, oh, out, uh oh. Look out, folks. Now we're fishing for night crawlers. That's why I don't run around with my pole up in the air. My mother didn't never let me play with sharp objects. Here we go. Now ah, we're talking. I like this hole. This is kind of nice. It's got some... Now these aren't lily pads. So one thing nice about these is you can drop your stuff down in them. Right in amongst them and stuff. And we'll do that here. We'll play around here with a couple spots. Let's see what we can grab out of here if we can get that white crappie. Right. Tighten her up, Buck. Make sure there's no room for air, my buddy. Alright. Let's see who's home. Well, there he is. And who's this? Another big old fat red air sunfish. We got you, buddy. We got you. Go. Open her up. Okay. Ding a ding a ding. Hello. Who's here? Oh, black copy. We need your cousin, buddy. We need your cousin. Alright, let's see. Let's back up a little bit. If we can't get one right in there. There we go. Perfecto. Let's see who lives in there. And I 
biggest one we want. There he is, the white crappy. Hello. We had your cousin. We had a little conversation with him earlier. Okay. We need a pumpkin seed. How about it? Maybe he's right out there. Let's see. Right here. All right. Let's try over there. Oh, that's right in between them two. Let's see, see who comes neb shitting around this time. Didn't get anything in the middle over there, but we got something going on here. To, let's see if we got. He's a little bit bigger. Trophy white crappy. We got him, but that's nice. Alrighty. Studio. Where's my pumpkin seed? Gotta be in here somewhere. Where, oh, where could it be? How about right there? Golden Shiner we got there. Yipper. Another Golden Shiner. You gotta love this. Our next mission, we're not going to love so much. We're going to go to Get. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Luzen Canal over to the Netherlands. Boy, did I get in trouble fishing that place the first time. Whew. It was late at night. I didn't know what was going on. I'm there for the first time. I'm fishing night. Foggy, rainy. Big old barge comes busting up through there. Blowing its friggin' horn. Woke up the buckle bunny. Oh, not good. Alrighty. You know what? We're moving on. Pull away, buck. Okay, we're gonna try another spot right over here. Hmm. No, we're not. As I know, the pumpkin seed ain't. Well, you know what? We'll try it. Because this is where. <clears throat> We've walked to another spawn-in place now. This is one of my favorite places to fish for bass and gar right out here in the middle. It's gar, you can see from the catfish off of that tree. It's sticking out over right there. But this is where they're going to send you to hunt for the unique. Yes, you can step in the water. The unique red ear. Get behind this rock here. And we might even be able to pick up a pumpkin seed right here. So we'll do it. Let's bring our pole back out. Now we're not going to flip anymore. 
We're going to hit F11 and turn it back into our normal casting match rod. And that uni lives right out here. Let's go ahead and hit that. See what we pull out of there. Thing. Buck, how could you? I know how you did it. Paying attention. Alright. Once again. Uh, let's see if we get him this time. Come on. Sunfish, not a pumpkin seed. No, we're going to go back to where we first came in because that was early in the morning before the peak. And we'll see what we get here. We're in no hurry. One more try. Black crappy. All right, they're hitting in there. Maybe we'll get a pumpkin seed out of there yet. Let me retire a little closer to the bank. Uh-oh, look out, Buck. We missed that guy. No, didn't we? Try that again. I don't have to make the blooper reel, huh? <laughs> this is not looking good for you, Buck. How about that? I meant to do that. All right. Let's go out a little bit further. I know it's there. See if maybe Let's be red air. Nice money there. Nice mine. Not my pumpkin seed. Dang it. Alright, I'm giving you one more in that hole and that's it. Now we're going back to hole number one. So we can complete this mission. And there it is. My pumpkin seed. <clears throat> I moved back over to our first spot. Because I knew we didn't, I didn't give it much time when we first got here this morning. So, I basically just threw it right in there. Oop. And that's where we got it. So that completes the, the Heron 
Exploration one. We got everything that we needed there. That pumpkin seed. He, he hung on there for a little bit. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. We're going to stay right here. I'm going to split them up. We're going to start right now. We'll head into the exploration two. We're going to go after the common carp, the flathead cat, and the long-nosed gar. So, I'll get set up. I'll be back in just a minute, and we'll continue with exploration two. Tonight, turn my troubles down on the road to my soul. 